No. Clean her and win. 38% win rate. That's yeah. not great. I mean, Spectre is just all around quite Ten solid. Seconds remaining. Vici Gaming's lineup looks so strong right now. Five Gary. seconds remaining. Vici Gaming's yeah. turn to Templar Assassin. TA. TA. Ticket TA, ban. We did yesterday against the Lions. But it was mainly because Koiko Hero Pool is not so suitable against TA. Where or Ori, I mean, Ori even beats TA with Lina, so. If he does that, doesn't, uh, that is impossible. TA, it's Armel's TA. Yeah. Armel's TA is pretty good. Ten it's very good. Remaining. One of the best. Top three. Top one. Five seconds remaining. Top. How good is your TA? Very good. Not in the top ten. To Not in the top ten. Top hundred, though. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Only one, bro. Spectre ban. And the Husker. Uh, be, uh, or Lena is still in the pool, so maybe Lena ban coming yeah, out. But Black says he, he can play Lena against TA. I don't think so myself. But. Or he beat no one's TA with Lena. No. That must have been with ganks or something. No. I don't believe you. Solo kill You're actually lying. He did solo kill. But the lane was still went like pretty far. Yeah. I think Lena could go like 46. Like, you can pick Lena in. Not, gonna have a tough one. Yeah, it's not nice. This is, I watch CCNC play T and he destroys always. Yeah, so. Well, what if they just pick Jakiro? The Husker ban still. What do you want for a carry here? A fat hero? Yeah, still. Don't overthink. What about if they got the Timber Sogan? Three strength heroes already? Not too many stuns. And they have so much lockdown as well for him. Five seconds remaining. But other heroes are than PL. I feel like there's no carries anymore. It exists. They're like five carries. Thank you, Ice Frog. So many carries are banned out too. Yeah. It's like six carry bands or something. You go PL. Say the hero then. An I, analyst. Do it. I'll say PL. You say PL? Yeah. VG Gaming's turn to Faceless Void. Yeah, I say Faceless Void. Ooh, I say Faceless Void as well. I like Void it. Gaming. Void ET. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Really good combo because Elder Titan removes the magic resistance and Faceless Void, he does magic damage. But that's the only the follow up, right? Very good combo. I mean, Phoenix, On the Chrono? Phoenix magic damage. Crazy mm -hmm. too. He gets that level 50. That's and Morphing's really scared of a basis of void. Once you get Shadow Blade, you can actually solo kill you every time. Five seconds remaining. True. And well, what's yeah. the answer that VT Gaming has to this then? Uh, Lina is not good anymore, I think. <gasps> Lina. You can, some, um. No, mobile hero, maybe. Tinker! Brewmaster can make the void m is miss in the Chrono, right? Yeah. Like Ember. Okay. And Cyclone in the Chrono. It's still Lina. It has to be something that doesn't get crushed by TA. I mean, Ember, Ember could work. Ember Storm. A storm, a storm is rough though against the yeah. storm, storm is Brute. Against it. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, was this the team that picked it last time? No, no, um, but definitely it. was uh, was LGD. 18, but I don't think it was LGD. LGD. It was against LGD. Alliance. I don't know how this this lane used to be that could lane a with the spirit type. Who can? Yeah, but the refection is just a non-factor in the lane, basically. But the question is, how good is he? Is how it later? good? Playing better right now. The draft looks solid. I I don't know. Maybe Death Prophet's a great hero still. I don't know, but I'm not. I'll have to agree with that. I feel like TNC is looking good with their lineup, and they're feeling strong, and they're just playing better, honestly, right Ten now. Seconds remaining. I'm gonna go TNC. That's two. Are you gonna make it three for all? Nah, me. nah, we're going VG. No. VG. No. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Do you say why, at least? Because I think the DP uh, kind of... Little, little, little. I'm, I'm wrong already? Wrong. Sorry. No, uh, I would I'll like to still hear it. Wrong. Nah, I, I just think DP is a good uh, fit for the lineup, you know? They missed push, they missed team fight. DP gives both of it. <laughs> she sucks. All right. We'll see about that. Yeah, yeah. No, but she's good. We'll see what's going to happen this third game. And if the Death Prophet is, uh, is any good as the last pick, what do you guys think?
over on the commentary desk? Great question. Well, what do you think, Grant? That I don't know. What do you think, Bulldog? <laughs> just <kidding. Any> casters? <laughs> yo, yo, Bulldog, I need some tips to be an analyst. Give me give me two right now. Yeah. yeah just scream a lot and okay. do fake hype. All That's right. all you need. I'm Questions ready. at the end. I'm like, ready. Why'd that happen? I'm ready for this. Okay. Right. No, I, I don't know. Looks like uh, I, I think Vici has a pretty better draft. TNC's pretty all in on all their team fight. We'll see. Elder Tyne's a garbage hero, but I guess you guys believe in it. Well, I am ready for this uh, for this cast. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Graham. We're back in the seat right now, ready to go. Uh, I like the TNC lineup. It's a lot more action-packed. Faceless Void is something I know you've been calling out as a core pick for a while now. Yeah. We finally get to see it here. But Beachy, it's not overly exciting. I mean, Ori, I like him more on the flashy kill style heroes, like the Ember and such. Uh, Death Prophet seems a bit more like I have an objective at hand. I need to get it done. What do you think about it? Uh, it's going to be interesting. It's a hero who won't completely get crushed by TA. I mean, I think TA still wins this, but I, I love Armel's TA, by the way. He's one of my favorite TA players to actually watch. And I don't watch too much SCA, but when I do, it's Armel just dominating on that hero. So we'll, we'll see if Ori can just kind of weather the storm. You know, they get to the team fight thing. If there's like one bad chrono in this game, I feel like that can we're just gonna go laugh. super. Yeah, we're going to laugh. And then yeah. it'll go like super punished and... I don't know, man. The Paparazzi Morphling. This is a pretty scary, like, hero player combination to play against. How do you think you would rank, like, a Paparazzi Morphling? Because this day and age, we got some crazy Morphling I players mean, out there, like Nisha and such. I think Nisha's probably number one. And then I'd probably get Paparazzi number two, honestly. Hey. Yeah. I think Nisha's, like, on a whole nother level in here. I have, I, I know he's a good player, but just watching him min-max is, is like, a attribute shifts and stuff it, mm -hmm. it's actually just insane but paparazzi stag there i think they play a little differently as well paparazzi likes to play more of a i'm just gonna farm a lot yeah and nisha will join in early on those mid-game fights so we'll have to see if that's a continuing trend for this game at this point early uh exchange of tips between teammates here everyone's gonna get that feel good feeling they all tip each other it's like that the well they all tip ori <laughs> But yo, Ori, Good luck, sir. you're the man. Good luck versus Tia. Yeah. And it's going to be the DY Brew. We've seen it once. And you know what? I, I enjoyed. He plays it just like Puppy. He won't, like, get a blink, blink in, ulting, create cast. He will, like, ulti, like, 20 meters away and just run in with all the pandas. And I actually like that style of a five Damn, panda. Damn, the disrespect, Gabby. Yeah, I mean, like, don't cross the line. Nah. You're going to have to go the long way around he's, right now. He's going to. I, I want to see if Gabby will actually hit him. Are they going to trade it? Oh, well, he's got Yang over yeah, now. now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, they just trade a couple of hits. There you go. Be a fun little lane here with the Earthshaker Axe duo. And for now, it's just Gabby. But I imagine he's going to have to get some assistance eventually. In the meantime, it's Tim's trying to scout out for that first courier to cross the street. But he'll be waiting quite a while, I imagine, eventually to dip. If this is one of those uh, those things where you just see nobody's top lane. It's just Gabby top lane. Yo, where's this Phoenix? Even Fade. Look, he's behind the creep wave. They know the Phoenix is just probably sitting here, honestly. It's, it's a pretty obvious play. Courier's probably going to be stalled out. Same with the time of the Phoenix right there. And that's why you see Armel actually plays it so aggressively. He's like, I got to make this guy. And he already has a health potion, actually. So he doesn't even need to, to bring the chicken out. It's, actually, I'm really surprised. Why is Tim still here? After you see that health potion on Ori, so. Yeah, looks like he'll finally step away. But we even have Fade rotating over this mid lane, possibly, for a little bit of assistance. He's still... Oh, it's a chicken? It's, it's going to come... Ooh. He's... Oh, well, well, he needs to fly and get fly and get it. Gotcha. And that is going to take a salve and a mantle off the table. And that's a great snipe from Tim's. Long investment time now worth. Yeah, definitely worth it there. And that's the, the thing he saw. The health potion was already used by Ori. So Ori was going to preemptively bring another one. It just can't. You bet. All those tips can't buy another courier. That They got the start of the game. Yeah, yeah you see Yang. The old double... Double stout shield. This is why people don't like Axe. The thing is, this Void is going to get farmed too. Like we, we talked about this. Axe will get tons of farm more than the carry. But uh, the, the carry, like a Spectre of Void as we've seen, they will just last hit on everything under the tower with the Quelling Blade. You see the Fisher fly out on the mid lane. A little bit of harassment. Fade, who's been hanging out here for quite a while now. Trying to hit the skills. Back towards Ori's side a little bit if possible. Considering he has to kind of now cope without having that courier. And this is kind of the problem when you do pick the axe, like, where does your other support go? And we see Fage is, like, kind of running around aimlessly. There's not much for him to do, because you can't just sit top. What are you to do? Harass the void under a tower? You can't. Yeah. Now heavy contention at the bottom towards the bull camp a bit. Boogie's trying to contest as best he can. See our man, Mr. Ding DY, tries to fend him off a bit. But that's when Tim's rotates in, and now it's a full pincer. And, uh, well, DY goes down. 
Kage does, and that is a plus 66 damage on Ninja Boogie. What are you going to do? And usually when you see an Elder Titan, you want to block, actually, the, the big camp on your side, and he hasn't, so Ninja Boogie's actually going to stack the camp, and that just gives him more spirit damage. Like, I think DY has to block this camp. I wonder if that's just something he thought he could pass on this time, or it can't be lack of experience going against an Elder Titan in this kind of setup, but now he stacks the camp, and that's going to be just more firepower yep, he's stacking up, and look, he's going to bring it his way. He's like, you want to swing he for now, but here comes something. the firepower now. He's going to smack it home, but there's a good fade fissure to slow them down. Coop is going to be forced out the other direction, but it's full aggro setup. And now Ninja Boogie's going to be smacking him home. Oh! Oh! Pops the wand. Really wanted to get one more hit, but can't get there. Yeah, man, I, I don't know if we... Hopefully, maybe we can see it. How'd the chicken die? Dyer's courier died, and I have absolutely no clue where. I assume maybe the axe just spun on it or something? Another one of those? Yeah, it oh, might have been. God. I didn't see it. That was on me. But yeah, it just died. I'm like, what? Where? How? Well, if we have the technology, I'm sure oh. we'll get to scan it out in a moment's time. But now it's just something we'll have to cope with. Both sides losing their courier. Obviously, the BG1 has returned in full flight mode. Bottom of the lane is where things are frisky now. Yeah, this is a full... Full-fledged aggressive setup right now by and Morphling TNT. does not like it. Like, Morphling is, is the saddest person in this tri-lane right now. Obviously, they're already getting pushed back. Cuckoo's getting gold, but we'll see. There already is going to be a little rotation. Tim's will actually find the haste rune. We'll see if he saves it. Cuckoo with the aggressive tip thrown that way. And he gives him the sorry. Sorry I tipped you. Don't want to be... Yeah, wait, what? Now Cuckoo's going to pay the price for it. Even hands his own life what? over. Cuckoo's just too How nice. This is too nice, I guess. How do you accidentally tip, say sorry, and then <laughs> the, die? What, he fed, what is the, what? He probably fed <laughs> all chatting sorry. Cuckoo's just overthinking just, these times now. How do you even oh, accidentally God. tip? Yeah, now he overthought that. And that is not a good play. Oh, <laughs> man. Because that's that just is it so was awkward. A full thousand gold lead for TNC, and now it's in Vici's favor. His manager might have done it. Anyways, yeah. here bottom lane, back to harassment off the DY. They're going to force him back a bit. But the big thing going for Vici Gaming is that the axe is just bringing in lots of money, of course, to the top lane. But I guess you could say the same for Gabby. Total win win up there. Oh, Ooh. fade. One little pixel off would have got the kill there because it would have blocked him off, and he did not have a fraction. But bounty runes come out, and it's looking pretty good for TNC. TNC's going to be a four out of four here. Gabby's running for it, eats Battle Hunger, but he snipes it up, and that He's is funny. money in the bank. Or TNC does have the time walk right now. They hit him with a Fissure. Try to time out the call, but Ooh. obviously he's going to be able to leap away. The mistiming. Bottom. See Paparazzi just narrowly escaping, or narrowly escaping. Yeah. Chris Dive will burn him a bit, but he's going to be fine. I still find it crazy that, like, attribute shift doesn't cost any mana. That's still mind-blowing to me, but... Now Gabby top. He is just going to get run by Yang. This is the problem. He is a level 7 axe now. Oh no, and another missed call. Yeah. Yang is Yang get this struggling. guy a good, good phone provider or something. This guy's just oh. dropping the calls all over the place. You got, you got to hit. This is game 3. Like you're actually one game away from going to the main stage top 6. That is a ton more DPC points like you get 6 and even just like qualify for another major. You're almost guaranteed Bottom. to a TI. Our boy Ninja Boogie in a bit of trouble here. Uh, or not. It just slows him down, but the gaming don't really have any additional firepower to follow up. It said could put the pressure towards Cuckoo's side. Smack him down a bit, but he's also there to assist. You just see how weak this tri is. The fact Cuckoo... He... Alright, yeah, here comes like the... It is... Okay, I okay. knew it. I knew... Wait. Hey! Oh, I thought he, he was level 6. I thought he was going to dunk. No, he got level 6 up then. He kind of saw the career there. It seemed yeah, he like. did. That was a nice so, play. Worked out well. Meanwhile, bottom, we have a Fissure up. They look to go for Cuckoo yet again. But Ninja Boogie dishes up the Spirit, slows him down. They look to turn around. They grab him up with the Shackles. Yeah, damage. Plus 144. Ooh. Smacks him up. Paparazzi going to be forced uh -oh. to shift on the game. But they put their focus back on a Ninja Boogie. Oh! oh! Gabby says, stop Shit. it right there. Drops the coin around on top of their head. He's going to be able to grab the one. Boogie. With the, with the assist from Gabby what, stepping in from oh. the turnbuckle, but then Boogie hands his own life over. What? Does it turn into a Gabby double kill? What is He'll take it on? for what it is, but it's just a bit crazy. That was such a good rotation by Gabby there. Like, all of a sudden, there's just three heroes piled up. Boogie baits them in. Just perfect three-man chrono. You get all three. Boogie probably didn't have to die there, but you know what? Oh, well. PNC, they are playing this so well. They're just not scared of this train. Like, Cuckoo is actually farming three on one, and yeah, there you see he waveformed in to get the last hit on Boogie and just went yep. right into the Chrono, and if Cuckoo wasn't on the outside, I mean, they would have killed all of them before Ninja died, but hey, Lavi. Well done there. See Boogie back on the move here, smoke towards this mid lane to get a ward down. I think Yang's got to be the, he's, 
about a thousand away from his blink. He already has the Vanguard. He has to He's be the gross. playmaker of this game. But He's the, huge. I mean, we saw the axe last game. It's like these axes, they get a lot of farm, but like if you fail your first few ganks, you don't feel like a hero really anymore. So we'll, and if we'll you see. end up even feeding, worst case, you're just going to feed yeah. over a huge net worth advantage. Bottom. Meanwhile, bottom shackle set up, looking to go aggressive behind the tower. DY cannot hang. Finished off right then and there. Oh. Yeah, we need to be a little bit careful here, though. Oh, he already time walked. And Yang just shows up, calls him, what? and dunks him off with that faceless head. Mm. Damn. I, I was talking, like, with Gods. It's like, he and C will always just do these little throwy <laughs> things, no matter how well they're playing, because they're playing very well. And then, like, why did Ninja die there? There's no need for that. Why Why did the Void, like, barely time walk? And then, oh, man. He and C, you guys are owning. Just simmer down. Yeah. Little, little fribbies they like to hand over there. But. Yeah. Who gets the tower to my top? Yep. Now we do have, of course, level 7 now in this Death Prophet in the mid lane. And same as the case that we talked about time and time again, whether it be Lycan, whether it be DK. If Or is given the opportunity in this lane, we'll use that Exorcism as he is now. If they can make it a plus 1, plus a tower push, that would be huge. Yang even coming in from behind, not even necessary. They get the job done, plenty without it. And almost right on cue, they will start hitting him. Taking down that tower. Fortification comes out for now, but we'll see if TNC are going to call in for reinforcements to defend it or not. They got Tims and Ninja here. They might just wait for Armel to do this, but I mean, it is a slow tower take. Like, level one Death Prophet ulti is not the bee's knees, that's for sure. Like, look at the little, the little ghost fish. Like, we're trying. Ghost little, little fish. Boy. Isn't that what they are? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Certainly not minnows or goldfish, but yeah. they feel like it at this point in time. They do. And they do de de decent damage to that tower. And Against a TA who wants to take your tower as well, it's, it's, it's a nice place. Good rotation. Enough to get at least the tower to just below half of its life, but uh, here we see Cuckoo Cop, what aggressively is moving forward. Cuckoo top could top find himself in a bit of trouble, but Paparazzi didn't have the damage, obviously, to be able to clean that up, and he's just instead going to clean up the ward, so it's free money for him. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, that's uh, probably actually better than the kill. It's, what, like 38 times... Let me do the math. 38 times. Don't hurt yourself. Whatever. We'll just say it's a lot right. of gold. That's good gold. Yep. That is great gold. I love gold, and so do they. And I don't know. I'm just... I, I'm i curious to see how this Faceless Void combo is going to work, right? It sounds pretty easy on paper. You just throw it out. Elder Titan throws a Spirit in there. Stomp. Mm -hmm. You have the Phoenix. But that does mean you have to get quite a few heroes yeah. in the Chrono. There's a lot of people that, if caught outside the Chrono, could interfere. I mean, even the Bruce Split, let's say. Bruce uh, Split's really big, yeah. Yeah. Death Prophet Silence. Uh, I'm sure she'll get, eventually get a Yules, or someone will have a Yules. It oh. could just be a real trouble for someone Pain like this. until you have a BKB. Exactly, exactly. And it looks like he's not going to prioritize an early BKB. He's going to segue towards what looks like a Shadow Blade pop first. That's a little bit of difference, right? The only t two regions we really see playing Void, it feels like, is SEA and China. And China, yeah. they love the early BKBs, and it seems like SEA, definitely a little more aggressive. Maybe with the exception, I think Rezo might have played it yeah, I think yesterday. Rezo. Yeah, yeah, but Faceless Void is certainly not getting a, as much airtime as you would expect. You got to go through like that at least what the first six or seven like, main course first. TB, oh god, they're banned. Oh no, even Luna's banned. What do we do? Nick, so that didn't work. Oh, so, god. <laughs> and there they are. And looks like they want to pressure middle right when this uh, Death Prophet ulti is coming up. They have level six on Panic. He has the tome, so he doesn't. I mean, he technically has it right now. See, this void. I think you want to. You almost want to use this this uh, chrono off cooldown. So Blink debut we'll incoming mid lane. There, there it is. is. Blink set up onto the bird. Cuckoo is nearby. Tries to help out with the hex. Jumping from Gabby. He's got the chrono down. They're locked under it. But now a counter play is going to be a setup from the morphling on the outside. Oh They're going to be committing God. with the wards on top of it. Now the exorcism comes out. This could be trouble for TNC. Running and hiding within the trees is going to be Gabby. Paparazzi, though, eating the blunt of damage. is going to be quickly shift out from that morph. Gets his life back. And now Cuckoo's going to be the one eating the wrath of damage. And, uh, they could just step off now, clean up these wards, take the tier one. Ey may pay the price. It looks like here he is super he's back low. To level six too. Yeah, okay, jumps in, pops the egg. They're going to begin to burn up. They think about going for the egg damage, but they're not going to be able to get it. Can they get Ori on top of it? Certainly would make it feel that much sweeter, and they do. Yeah, those wards, the serpent wards being up the entire time just like wins them that fight. It deep pushes all the creeps from yep. hitting their tower. It's doing insane amounts of damage, and oh, they're just fighting into it. Set up a call. Oh, the game sense okay. or something. They, they have that ward on the high the ground. Ward, they saw yeah. the TP. You're right. You're right. Nice job. But I do want to say, shout out to Paparazzi. He switches into the Rasta, shackles the Shackler. Bottom is going to get out. 
Oh, wow, spoke too fade. soon. Fade fades away and back to the fountain. Safe. He is broke though. Is a uh, mm -hmm. this this Earth Shaker like you're the four position. He has two hundred gold and tranquil boots. Like you you wished you'd already started farming for this blank, but nothing yet. Attack. A little bit. Of, I mean, he's got some decent XP. At least he's got his level six. True. But you're right. It. As far as how he can hang in these fights, he's going to be very frail, and his setup opportunity for that dunk is going to feel very tough. Ninja Boogie is just, he's doing his warning mission. He's going to die for it, for sure. Getting a hold of him here, between the two of them, the Bash brother, Damn. even dish out the Damn. echo, and the dunk. Damn! God, dies. They do not like Ninja Boogie, apparently. They just, they work him. They did not like that tip from earlier or no, something. They, they just made him pay. All right, eight to seven. Each pulling themselves back, though, a slight net worth advantage for TNC at this point in time. It's all about this chrono. It's up in 20 seconds again. I like mm. Gabby is being very active with it. He's not just farming. Move bottom. to bottom. Ward's committed here. Can't quite nice get the lock silent. onto Fade. Finally, they're able to get the grab onto him, and Armel's showing up just in time, and he's got some heavy hitting damage coming through him. Boom! Smacks down Fade. It's the finish, and they can turn this into a tier one push. Or he's gonna die, I think. He has Chrono up. He's he's getting Chrono. This is a fight. Oh, chrono. he hung around. Yep, just that little bit extra too long. He's gone for sure. Chrono justified on that one to take the PP off the table. And that will also turn into a tier one push. Yep, they are. It, it is five Radiant's heroes bottom, bottom for that kill and that tower. Meanwhile, you, you have middle being farmed out by Yang. You have top being farmed out by Paparazzi. Honestly, that is not that bad for these gaming. And they're trying to get what looks like a blade mail set up onto the axe. That could be a little troublesome for TA if she's caught on the bad end of a call, or even the faceless boy. But yep. yeah, you're right. I mean, Morphling still has a high ceiling ahead of him to kind of build into. And TNC are the lineup that have that snowball-y strat, so. Yeah, they do. I mean, obviously Void can go into the late game, but against a, a morph DP, like DP six slotted, like people don't really think like late game, oh wow, DP's amazing. You get like an Octarine, Shiva's kind of build, Sheep Stick BKB, like you are a scary ass yep. hero. You are actually are. Once you're able to address, which maybe one of her weaknesses is just, she could be on the frailer side or just weaker side. Yeah. It's prone to being bursted and blown up, which is a, something that TNC's lineup could certainly do. Once she's able to mend that and build up her durability, though, then she becomes a bit of a problem, and she just loves those long-lasting fights where Exorcism can continue to put in work. Like, they want it. I'm looking bottom. The Yang at the bounty rune. Yang should just deny it right now. They're not going to take it. But with, with that, I don't know. Maybe Fate will go up and get it. Down here and just chilling. All right. Boogie and Gabby are both in the neighborhood. But meanwhile, mid lane, there's the jump call from Yang with the blade mail set. Immediate hex, though, from Cuckoo. Stops him right there, and Armel should be able to walk out and away. He's going for it. This yes, is, they are. You They're looking to set him up. Pops the refraction. A little blinks away. Messed up micro there, made by. I think if he committed that immediately when he saw that, I think that would have been completely okay. But that he hesitated, and obviously they don't get the kill now. They got some three bears oh, hanging Yang. around, but Yang gets the follow-up call. This one on the cuckoo. This one should be much easier for them to get the finish. There's the dunk. You know, just uh, these little pickups. TNC's got to be wary of these. Chrono, it's coming up in 50 seconds. Just don't do anything dumb until then. Yep. They smoke. And, uh, they're going they're hoping that by the time they go to the mid lane, they will have that Chrono up and at the ready. Beachy taking a good route here. If they head up north and away from the possible trouble, then they should avoid any conflict. Oh, and oh but Yori! Oh! Got the invis, thankfully. Yeah, they have the, the sentry there themselves. I. I think, yeah, if you're Vici Gaming, you you know something's up, and look at this. You have someone bottom farming, you have middle get a push, and you're gonna farm, and you have top farming. You're actually fine with these these movements. Yep. Armel back on the mid lane tower. Siege it down. Or he's still hanging around here, but they're kind of curious about their commitments, and it's probably for the better, because Cuckoo's around the corner with Gabby. They're gonna see Cuckoo now. Pops the Exorcism, but Gabby could swing in things. It's, 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 they, all, they, might, they might just sack him. They're gonna sack him. He's a bit out of position and it might be too hard for that commitment. Plus, everybody could rotate over to that tower. They already have four on deck. Probably for the better that TNC decide to pull the plug on that idea. Gabby actually almost does have a shadow blade. Good, and that's just for initiation. Oh, Walk into my him. crack. See ya. All right. Well, down. And this is what I mean. These are just like random strange pickups. You have the, the chrono from Void. You, you gotta be using that. A lot of like what we saw in game number one. Yeah, they had opportunities good. to take fights, but they're not really jumping at the chance. They're kind of waiting and lollygagging around a little bit before it they get onto like it. game one, because right, you, Death Prophet's Exorcism on cooldown. This this isn't really a hero now, but you're not punishing the yeah. fact that Exorcism was on cooldown. 
Hey, DY, he's just, he's tangled up. I want to see how close, okay, Earthshaker is getting close to Blink. Because of all that space, you know, he got a kill, he went to the jungle, went mm -hmm. top, getting very close, and that, that's going to be scary, because Fisher is very good versus Void as well. Like, Earthshaker, obviously, you don't Blink Echo the Void, but you can just Fisher him, and with level 4 Fisher, takes away, like, half the Chrono. We also do have the Shadow Blade now complete. Gabby? I want to see, let's see some plays, Gabby. We need to see him. Stops it now. Eats the regen. I'm not sure. It looks like that ward is not going to spot the regen disappearing, so they're not sure this is happening. DY. Man between him and that mid lane here. With eight. But on the other front, they've already made their approach. Looking to get the grab. Impossible snipe finish here of Paparazzi, but he does manage to waveform to the low ground. Gabby chases to the other side. He's caught from behind. D1. Or DY, rather. Keeping him in his place a bit. Now he hops to the high ground here. Happy to fight under their own wards, of course. Bear's going to have to back off. Oh, he's a lot of damage. He's got to be careful. Armel will finish him off if given the opportunity. Okay. Panda ulti's down. Another pretty big cooldown. You know Exorcism is still down. You might think about taking a fight again if you're if you're dire. you you got to do something, though, right? They're sitting here as five while Paparazzi actually just farmed bottom. They shrined up. They're yeah. farming middle. You either got to farm or you got to fight. You can't just hesitate between the two. I guess they feel like it's pretty awkward. I know they had um, committed the wards by the ancient camp, but I guess they feel like without those, it's not enough gunpowder for them to be able to try to take a fight. But Vici feel quite the opposite. They are smoked. They're on the move, and they're happy to invade. Just on the high ground is going to be Armel. Pops the smoke. They pop the dust. He's able to blink to the low ground, but Gabby welcomes him with a three-man chrono. Armel has to get to the high ground to get optimal damage out, and they are going to be able to burst down the DP. Follow-up echo, though, from Vici. Gaming is going to be good enough. Kuki steps in. Big ether shock to burst them down. They are going to lose two. Immediate buyback of the Death Prophet. Nice. Wants to get back into the action. Has the exorcism if needed, but it might be too late. Now wants to walk in regardless into the arms of three. TNC uh -oh. might want to swing. Ori! Ori! What have you done? Oh, my. And there Ori. you go. That is all Armel. Armel sat in the perk position. He knew like that smoke was coming. He sat where there was a sentry and an observer ward up here by the by the ancients. And right when the people come up, he just blinks away. And Gabby goes in. That Cuckoo is so spots good. up Paparazzi super low. He gets the finish snipe oh, there as well. Oh, everything coming up TNC. All right, yeah. Now there you go. They take the big team fight. They get a, a random kill there. Paparazzi going for a bounty rune and. Cuckoo, right place, right time. Yep. Double bounty rune, paparazzi. That's like seven bounty runes. Just keep we'll this train it. going. They're going to yep. go right into the Roche pit and take the Aegis now. Armel's just feeling himself. He's got the Deso ready to go, and he's just going to beat down the big boy. Yep. After this, he's going to be pretty much on his BKB. Yep, and there you see the replay. Just a great chrono. Looked like maybe there'll be a turnaround with a, a great dunk by Fate there, but then Cuckoo just gets a five-man ether shock. Like, and then holds the insane, yeah. max right there. It's Wonderful stuff. And here's your like, here comes the turnaround, in comes the DP, and it's like, I'm here, here's my exorcism. And, and then they're like, wait, it's just her. Let's beat the hell out of her, boys. And they turn <laughs> beat the snot out of her. Oh, quite unfortunate. Paparazzi makes it away, but not for long, obviously. Heads to his own farming camp where Cuckoo stalks him and finishes him off. The uh, absolute down in the dumps at the moment for Vici Gaming here. Five to six K net worth advantage at the moment going the way of TNC. And this is a great snowball opportunity for TA. Now has a huge, what I like to call, BKB. girthy stack that she's farming through right here. And that will finish the BKB. Yeah. Um, great play from TNC. I was a little nervous for like those two to three minutes where they just weren't really getting much done. And then yeah. the BG, they, they kind of just baited him into that uphill fight. That was a great job by TNC. Gabby on Q is going straight Silver Edge here. Far. Get in. All right. I'm I guess, trying to understand why. Yeah, no one there that's like really anti, you know, like, oh, we gotta have a Silver Edge for this one. I mean, yeah, it's good for a bunch of the heroes, but it's not like, yeah, we gotta have it. All right, well, regardless, it will give them the extra bit of damage, an extra bit of strength, and, well, in the meantime, they are going to try to move forward with this bottom tier one push. Cuckoo, though, obviously, to defend it. Pressure off. Gaming don't feel comfortable being down here. Oh, there's an invis room. Fate will take it. Has yeah. the ulti again. That's the thing. Like, both teams have really good team fight, but when both teams have great team fight, it's just whoever gets the better initiate. And right there is the, the Chrono into the Elder Titan stomp. And yeah, we'll see. Earthshaker as well likes to be more of a counter initiate, as we saw, but the rest of his team was already dead. Put on top of that, of course, the, the potency of the natural order with that ether shock, with that oh, egg. Yeah. It's just so much damage. Deceptively strong damage. Anyone caught within that Chrono is. Might as well be on a dinner plate at that point. 
Chris Spade. I still remember. I remember in ET, his spirit got both uh, the physical and magical reduction. That hero, Ooh. that that was a that was a fun time. I know Fog level. That was a fun time to be an ET player for sure. Oh yeah, those those kind of fun times. Like when Earth Spirit first came out, that was a fun time. All right, here's a replay of uh, oh, when we had the vision of the yeah, whole Cuckoo time. stalking so paparazzi, and you know this is where it's, it's Morphling is happy to be on full agility mode farming, but when you come across someone like this. Bang, finishes him off instantly. Three snipe. Meanwhile, Elder Tide Gold gonna be committed onto Yang, who runs up north to make it away from trouble. He's moving quite fast, but Gabby's on him. Gets the chrono onto the one. Fissure will slow him down a bit, but not gonna save him, obviously. That's just a simple pick up. It is chrono on cooldown, but they're gonna find one oh, more on the uphill. Uphill. DY. Can they kill him before he ultis? He doesn't have mana. mana. He's dead. Wand, but I don't even think that will get him anywhere close to it, so he's just gonna get smacked on down. All right, Cuckoo actually taunted him right there. He, he like faked out the Ether Shock like 10 times and was like, I'll take that kill. And you know what? Cuckoo, he is playing so well. That's why you see uh, a lot of people are like, why do you go Tranquil Boots on an offlane hero? It's so dumb. Like, if he didn't have that move speed to get over to where the Morphling was, yep. he, he's just able to move between lanes, lanes, farm, and also gives him that free Morphling kill. Man, they are playing so well right now. This is like, this feels very weird, right? We in this tournament especially, we've seen so many teams win game one convincingly, and then they just like stumble through game two and three, as we're seeing right here. Almost sounds kind of like an EG thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they always are super yeah. strong at the beginning, and then, and, then, like, oh, oh, oh. and then it gets to game three, and you're kind of yeah. like, oh. meanwhile, oh, top lane. Oh. This He's was Fade gone. trying to cut the waves from behind, and is going to get caught and punished for it. I think he queued up that silver. He's not buying. He almost has a full BKB now. I think he just like queued it up on it. Like he was getting a shadow lane. He's like, whoops, I accidentally slipped into the quick buy. Thank God. There's no reason to get it. BKB on him and then of course uh, the TA just means that they can snowball this one and maybe try to even close he things out by 30 for 35 minutes or yep. so. I think with a BKB, he can't really die. Like the only thing he's scared of right now is getting silenced by that DP in his own chrono and not being able to like time walk out or get his health back. But if he's BKB, yep. they, they have no lockdown for a, a BKB. Except the axe, but the chrono. 25 left. minute runes popping up right now. Yang will be able to snipe one from the other side here. Get his own. They're just gonna lose a tier two top. And right now TNC is just playing perfectly. This is, I guess game one really was just a wake up call. You know, maybe they didn't sleep too well last night, you know, and then all of a sudden game one slept a little bit more and now you're rested up for game two and three. He on the prowl though, trying to make something out of it. They just missed their opportunity at Gabby in the mid lane, but he jumped into the ancient camp and that's where they strike. Quick move in, quick dunk. Nice set there from Vici. They were thirsty to make something happen and there they get it done. Got it. That, they just had that war down. You gotta, gotta make something happen and they do. It's still a 9k lead, but you take down Void, which makes it so you're not too skinned on the map. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried pushing this middle tower with the Morphling. Because you can't just get a kill and do nothing. You gotta get a kill and do something. Yeah. PA is already on the scene, just in case they do decide to push forward, which, it, based on their body language, looks like they will not. They did ping out the ward, though. So uh, while there is a nice, deep, aggressive ward by TNC, it looks like it could be quickly debunked. Taking care of good eyes there from the supports. This is gonna be... He took on T. T is very level 20, by the way, and took the refraction of spells very good for his battle hunger as well as the, the brewmaster drunken haze. All right, TNC, even without their faceless void at the ready quite yet. Take to the smoke. Scout things out. I like it. They set up early because, I mean, it kind of catches Vici off guard like, oh, the void's not alive yet. There's no way he could yeah. be over here. Could TP to the shrine side and get over in a heartbeat, but it's not necessary. Armel already jumps right in and. It's so damn hard, obviously, on that EY support. Really stand no chance. I could definitely see. I mean, if TNC wins this game, like it's looking like they might, I could definitely see Cuckoo's Shadow Shaman getting banned out. We've seen it, I think, three or four times now on that offlane. He's the only one really doing it, but you see right there with that Aether Lens blink, you can hex anyone from like halfway across the map and being undispellable now, pretty damn good. Obviously, the shackles are also that thing's nuts. pretty yeah. crazy long. You can get Serpent Wards at just even more of a convenient position without having to put yourself at too much danger. Yeah, there's a lot of ups to the build for sure. And obviously, with the ridiculous base damage, he's going to get good last hits as yeah. well in the farming phase, though. So. That's the thing. He loved that tri-lane versus tri-lane because they had an Earthshaker Panda Morphling. That's a garbage tri-lane. He's just sitting over here as a shadow show. He's like, this is great for me. Recovery mode, though, for Vici at the time being, trying to pressure these lanes at least back out towards the river here. The Yang kind of dancing around with Tim's a bit. And it's Death Prophet. Very good. If he gets initiated on by the Chrono, 
It'll just and it's still pop. He'll almost always yep. get his ulti up because he can Yules immediately. He would rather ulti than Yules, but he might not have the time for that with the amount of damage from the TA. We'll see. That's the thing to watch out for. I mean, if TA gets the jump on her and hits her once, like you could just insta pop your Aeon disc too early. And we know the cooldown is so freaking long. Yep. Could be just taken out for the next fight. Hard push coming to okay. bottom lane. TNC looking to move in. Does he want to commit a chrono for this one? Nah, they didn't quite have the vision. Didn't want to risk it. Yang's going to be able to make it away from potential do. That's one of those. If he, if he like, uses and misses it, I'm like, ah, I probably would have done the same, too. But he just doesn't come in. That's fine, too. It, it keeps the threat of it still on the playing field. They clear out things through the bottom lane. I suspect they're going to vision down here. Do they have any available? No, it doesn't look like it at the moment, at least. Oh, well, Tim's has one board. They're waiting for their friend Gabby to come over so they can pop the purple stuff. Yeah, Beachy, they, this is going to be a smoke into a smoke, it looks like. And right now they're pinging DY. DY doing some doing some bait shenanigans here. And they are actually just sitting Who'd have guessed? DY's like, man, this is fun. I'm the bait, all right? DY, up front, Let's please. <laughs> Tell us what's happening. Oh, Yango, and they jump right to the back line. So they go for DY first and foremost to finish him off. And they get it before the split's going to even be there. Meanwhile, Cuckoo locks Axe in his spot. And they finish him off. And just like that, one, two, hit the deck. They TNC with a full advantage and moving forward. Make it three. TNC what? came to play in game number three. And Grant, we're in store for it. what looks like another crushing if this keeps going. Yeah, it is. And that is so Gabby not even. Oh, wait, here we go. TA in the air. Wait for the fall down, but the Yules on to Yang means he can't get the call follow up. Buybacks from two. I think uh, TNC are going to be happy with all of that resource spending and could back out. Oh, they want to hang. They, they have the, the thing is they have to be yeah exactly they have to be so scared because Gabby did a good job of not using the Chrono right there like he could have just wasted it on one hero gotten the kill but he saved it and now they still have that threat. Who do you think is like his most valued Chrono right now? Who's he trying to lock within it? I am just probably because yeah. like even if the Morphling mol morphs to full strength like they actually do enough damage right this this TA is Omega farm yeah Shadow Shun does a natural damage. order on top yeah. of everything too. He's gonna die. Like, he's gonna die every Elder Titan time. was used to be just a good natural counterpart to the Morphling back in the day. Just oh, Because yeah. Morphling was known to have such weak armor, and natural order just pretty much evaporates any potential armor he builds up. Yep, and that... I mean, I know that because that was the, I played, you know, one professional game in the Navi for Navi US during the Damn. Summit 2 qualifiers, and it was my one Elder Titan game. I went 1 in 15, but all I was told by Quark and Fog to put your spirit on the... the uh, it was like the Lena, and we have a PA, and one dagger instantly killed him, and they're like, good job, even though I went 1 in 20. We won. That's not US. RIP. Well, I, I just don't know. This Death Prophet is so under farm now with that and disc, and Yule's like, she's going, you have to go these items, but you still yeah. just die, like, within a chrono, because the you only have the 2.5 seconds of the, the combo breaker passive it's called and Chrono lasts longer than that, you still just kill her in it. Yeah, I don't foresee opportunities for them to kind of use this exorcism to siege on forward for towers. These are all like exorcisms that are going to be held for potential fights that could come their way instead. Looks like there's a potential uh, stare down here in front of the Roche pit, trap inside to obviously scout out any maneuvers in there. Uh, TNC would love to take this one for themselves. They can take it for themselves super That's fast and easy. Bottom, Beachy though. just want to contest it, but hey, you want to you want to hang around Roche? We'll just go ahead and move down here and take your base if you like that. Uh, yeah, it's with committed now. Like the, the fact that a Cuckoo just baits out the gun. Look at they're gonna pop out the glyph of their own. They're gonna get this. These siege units might be able to do enough damage to kill the tier That's three. That's ridiculous. They're doing Roche. Yep. And while they're doing that, yeah, the Roche play. is gonna go down. This is such good play. <laughs> Casual earn from Tim's being full harassment mode on a paparazzi, the man who was left behind to take care of it. And there we see the finish of that Roche. Isn't the trade normally a tier two tower for Roche? Instead, they get a tier three and Roche. That's like the best trade. deal ever. I know, wow. I want to go to this pawn shop. Ulti. Nice one. double call. Oh, okay, good grab. This could be an opening for Vici Gaming here, but a slide out and they eat the cheese. Gabby feeling good, moving forward, looking to right click down the axe, gets her done. Ninja Boogie. That would have absolutely been a kill on Void, but Ninja Boogie, the five position ET, gets the Yules off on him. Oh, oh no. Why? <laughs> Walks on four, just gets hand tied. This taken game. down. I mean, Ninja. Yeah, nin the, the whole team of TNC, I can't say enough. They have just played so it was well this ridiculous. game. Ridiculous. It was just an 18k net worth advantage. And they. I mean, they're in no rush. Look at Gabby's actually just going to take the, the Shrine Tobin yet. Yeah, I'm looking at the EXP and gold graphs, and that is just... That's some, a yikes for me. Yeah, though, that yeah. is a very big one. It is just going straight down.
And there's the three second shackle, uh, shackle duration, pardon me, from the, the Shadow Sean, one of my fate. I love that talent, man. You, it just lasts for, it literally lasts forever. And that's the thing where you have it together with like Octarine Core. Yeah. It's like, mm -hmm. you're not going anywhere, <laughs> sir. Never. <laughs> that's why you just literally hear that sound the entire team hey, fight. Hey, yeah. Shut that man up. Please, someone stop him. Well, back to the bottom lane comes Six TNC. Runs. Yeah, happy to see Jaways. Armel has that extra life. I think it's oh. jumped on forward then to the right. Chrono, where Gabby has taken out the dunk factor of this defense. No dunk going to be there for well over a minute. TNC just came out on all cylinders for this game three, and they're trying to see if they can force Beach to throw in the towel nice and early. They're trying to hold on, or he has the Aeon disc to try to survive. Nice ward trap to trap the Morphling within, or that was just Illusion, rather. Still, good spot for the wards to try to get some damage done, but hey, it looks like they are going to be able to farm up all that additional money. Buyback forced out from Ori. Yay. The Armel, the back of his second life, it looks like will wow. get taken down here. Tried to fight back a bit, but couldn't quite get a finish there. That's and a lot then, of gold. Well, Vici hold, and they get a good amount of money for it. That was a 2k gold shift right there just for killing the T, and that was just way over late grip. That was, I mean, that's the first time we get, that was a bad chrono. Like, chronoed only the Earthshaker. The TA actually, I don't know if the TA blinked into it or if he chronoed on the TA, but, I mean, just chill, right? Couldn't you, you can just chip away at those Raxes. You have the Aegis on TA now, you don't have the Aegis anymore. Freaking elimination match at a major. Is. Just ch chill, TNC, but we've talked about that. TNC has that in their body. If you're a TNC fan, you, you damn well know they're going to make one of those throwy plays every game, and luckily they're 18k up, so it's not as effective at they'd have the to game. do that like a couple two or times. three more times of yeah. course let's uh think you know hypothetically maybe for now late late game is that late I mean, paparazzi for... morph is a pretty damn scary like six mm -hmm. slot of paparazzi morph we'll see if he can get there but it's just it's on this void this void as well could get farmed but if he just gets one good chrono on even just the morph they're, they're gonna be fine they don't have that much save for the chrono He's even going for the Ags next. At least has queued up an Ags for now on that Void, just so they have a Chrono for every fight. So that way, I guess it's not so, you know, fragile that he hits that one critical one. And we see the gold share. Yeah, and usually you don't see that big. The gold from kills a 3k different. Usually it's like 1 or 2k there, just dropping D off right now. They like the pinata moment here. I mean, TNC are pretty damn swelled up with money and candy. If Beachy can strike, strike hard, they could burst it open and take the benefit of all that swinging money from the high net worth advantage. He just got enough money for the butterfly, so... I don't think you save her, but I'm pretty sure you just go buy the butterfly at the, the secret shop over there and you take another fight, but we'll see. And we don't see any answers for the butterfly on the B2 side at the moment. So I'm very curious how they plan on getting damage through this TA. They're going to have to rely solely on heavy burst damage, great dunk setup, let's say. And maybe even reflecting a bit of the damage through a blade mill. Build just with that blink, but at this point, that's all you really need. Like fade, you just got to get in there. Mm. You've got to, you've got to make something happen. This is one of those games. You're down 16k. You don't want to be the earth shaker in this game. Like you could be the hero of the game, but more than likely, you're just like it's all on you, and it's not going to happen. Let's see who's going to make the next move here. We still have quite a while before the Roche is going to even be up. So. If T and C are going to try to go on some sort of smoke move, and oh, there it is, actually, already on the smoke move. Arcane Rune for Cuckoo as well. Mm, yummy looking. Hey, nice. I don't even need the Octarine anymore. Guess what? You just got the shackles. Move in. There's the shock. There's the burst. They're looking to see if they can get D way out of here. Can they get it done? Looks it's like they can. Because he has the Octarine, he doesn't need the Octarine core. It just says the Arcane Rune. It's permanent shackles now, and they're just going to head back down bottom, it looks like. And they take D way out. EY would have been definitely a good disruptor for any potential high ground defense, but it's not the end of the line for VG. Still holding the Echo Slam and such, they can pull out a decent defense. And I like this. Gabby is actually going for the Agonims next. He realized, like, when the Chrono's down, they actually can't do that much. So making it a much shorter cooldown, I mean, it halves it down to one minute. Pretty All right, good. jump in. Immediate drop of the ward saying, what are you going to do about it? VG tried to get things started. Bursting him down. So far back. They want to kill these wards, but... Nerves about clumping up too much for a bad chrono, let's say. You know what? You, you farm the wards with Paparazzi's happy. You do some decent unhealable damage to range barracks, but... Honestly, Paparazzi, he's just farming. He has an eye of Scotty. Like, he is pretty damn farm. Once he gets his own butterfly, they don't have anything to really go through that except their magic damage, which we haven't seen much of. 
You can see it. They're pinging the pit. I think they want to hold out for the Roche, but they've got a couple of minutes before it's even up here. Yep. Kind of feels like time's moving slow in that sense if you're for TNC, but they are obviously not looking to overdive whatsoever at this point. This is the problem. You you do have this Void now going for the Agonins. Have a TA. Like, TA, as you said, the Pagana, like, this this hero is not good in the super late game. Like, yeah, sure, the mm. 30, like, 40 minute mark, man, she is a monster because she has more items than everyone. That's how the hero works, but once you get past that point, this morph is the same slotted as her. You no longer have that giant advantage, even if your net worth is like 4k higher. Yeah, you'll definitely just like plateau out for a while, and Fichi have the late game stride to kind of move past that. It's a still big net worth advantage they have to kind of move past here, with, especially with a lot of their support staff, but TNC continue to encroach as much as possible onto Vichy's turf, so that they're forced inside, and that the farming options are so extremely limited that only maybe paparazzi is going to get little grabs of farm he is farming like he's just going between bottom and top and i like that the earth shaker and the axe are just like sitting behind him like yeah paparazzi you just farm whatever our games are over you just go farm two lanes we'll sit behind you dp was able to finish out of bkb now so full 10 second bkb on this dp is pretty sweet i i'm really surprised the butterfly and ta and because usually we see something like the the, the hex but i guess because they have cuckoo already but Having another Hex, like, if you just instantly jump on the DP, but I guess with the Aeon Disc plus the BKB, she's actually always going to get her ulti off now. And she has a decent amount of life because of that uh, level 20 talent. 500 HP is nothing to speak. Sure. And they just continue to kind of pressure the lanes forward a bit and make sure that Vichy are not comfortable moving too far on the outside. Have that trap down, and it looks like may respawn in 10 seconds time. It's a low, slow burn, but hey, look at Vichy going on the move. They're going to catch Armel. Oh, Armel can't react in time. Gets caught with the call. Beautiful setup there from Yang, and that means Paparazzi is going to be looking to go for the follow-up. Nice Armel, job. forced to step away, and a beautiful interception comes out from Ninja Boogie to stop them in their place, and that is more than enough to get it done. Man, that... Oh, well, there you see the butterfly instead of the hex avoided, like... 20 hits there, Ninja Boogie with the big four-man stop. Yep, there's the TB. Like, thank you for uh, yeah. saving our <laughs> saving this game from spiraling out of control. It was appreciated. Definitely justified tip right oh, there. And it is a quick rush. It'll be 30 seconds or 35 seconds, and that's good for TNC. They, they want to get this rush as quick. As you said, they pinged it like five minutes ago. Like, yo, chill. Yeah, let's wait. <laughs> like, it's got to be up any moment now, right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, they're got Yang in the area to pick up the 40-minute bounty rune at the top at least see Vichy Gaming's counter rush lineup how good it can be I mean if you want to commit a all with your like blink dunk and blink I, axe I think you just let him get it I think you just you you let him get the rush and you just try yeah. to make him right because they they won against the ages last time like you make them make the mistake and I think that's okay like if just defend in your base it's a lot smarter let the rush go down yep they're pinged out by Tim's now and there oh, there's the, the drawing uh, let's go put the head that way and honestly, I've been seeing Vichy Gaming put together some really solid items. I would almost feel comfortable with their potential defense incoming, considering how well it went for them last time. I think TNC just need to have a, a new, unique approach if they want to catch Vichy off guard. I think if Axe, need, if Axe gets a BKB, this morph does get the butterfly. Those are like the two big items. This Axe can jump in and just not instantly get blown up and like shackled by Cuckoo. They have a very good chance. Mm. I, I can't believe it's 23k and it, it does feel like, you know, Vici is, they're more than 10% in this game. Which For sure. Is pretty rare to say it at 24k lead. I'm not sure what the Dota Plus rating had it at the moment, but it's, uh, oh, it's not bad. pretty, pretty still heavily favored but for TNC. 80%? But that's 80, not bad. 70? At a, at a 25k lead, 80%? Yeah. Here, yeah, okay. Yeah, 20% okay. to win, we'll take it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, they see multiple seed units infiltrating from the top. They'll take care of that. But still, corralled, shepherd, however you want to call it, stuck indoors on house arrest here. As the options to go out and farm are a bit limited as long as TNC are floating around in the waters outside. Well, continuing to try to keep these lanes pressured forward. I mean, they're going to keep winning the economy game. I mean, they're farming more of the map, and all of them are getting a piece of the pie. Problem is, like, your late game scalers. Yeah. Or, like, TAs pretty much can maybe get one or two more items if you sell your boots, even, like... That's going to be empty net worth pretty soon on that hero. Nullifier on oh, Q, though, to... for uh, Faceless. Armel, like, blinked on the DD and then just didn't take it. And then, like, Tim's, like, <laughs> pings it out. Like, I think he forgot to pick it up. There oh, that could be a big rune for them as they draw out a line to head south. You got, you got give a new some... approach to this Tier 3. This, I mean, this, is, this, is a, this feels like this is a classic Game 3, right? Like, both teams, yep. they just... 
you don't want to overcommit because TNC already did it once. They saw they can't oh, like he goes and barely That was misses. a risky play. He tried to jump in to get the brave call onto Gabby, but will get punished for it, it looks like, with the jump in. Chrono, they will get the finish. Axe does buy back, and he quickly times walks out to the other side. Murray unleashes his fury. Double Ward's going to be committed here, and quickly Vici try to take care of those turrets from doing any serious base damage. TNC actually hesitating on trying to do any sort of follow-up move yet. Whoa. Longest Icarus dive I've ever seen from those back lines. Here comes the harassment from the outside. Cuckoo able to get that shackle to lock the brew in his spot, but there's obviously no follow-up hits yet. TNC very hesitant. Running low on resources now. I'm seeing incredibly low mana here on Armel. Yep. You definitely could. I mean, you could wait out this Death Prophet ulti. Like, Panda ults down, Death Prophet ults down. You yep. could wait it out. The, Disc the is on is... cooldown for at least another minute, too. Yep, I am a little... I, mean, I think every mid player is a little upset with Armel that he doesn't have a couple clarities in his backpack here, because that would be pretty damn nice to have. He has the Aegis, though, so a full new life, but for sure. The fact you have to die to get mana. There he goes. We'll he wants to jump in. Tries to get the hard shots onto Yang right away. Jump in. New Chrono setup. Catches two. Gabby's able to move up and go directly for the big Earthshaker. He has the dunk. He buys back. He's looking to commit it here. And now there it is. Jump in grab. But Gabby just ah, gobbles down that cheese. And he's going to be A-OK. -okay. Leaps out the other side. Means he looked to make the retreat. They already bought back, it looks like, on that Phoenix. And the chase is on from Vici here. Looking to get a grab on the Gabby. Did not catch him with that dust. He's dumb. They're just trying to all get out together. Looks like it will work. The thing Dude, is, your TNC, Vici. yeah, they they did not get another Rax. And guess what? That wasn't just Cheese and Aegis. That was a refresher shard as well. They they cannot kill one Rax with all three components That's crazy. Of two wards, two chronos. All not enough to be able to finish off the racks. That is concerning for TNC. I mean, I'm seeing their net worth continue to go up, but I'm seeing probabilities for Vici Gaming holding this game and pulling it back also go up little by little. Yeah, it is, because this Axe still no BKB. It was a buyback from Earthshaker and Axe, but you make Tim's buyback and you get Cuckoo, and buying back when you're this far ahead actually costs you so much more than when you're... Like, this Earthshaker, it costed him nothing to buy back. He has no items. Yeah. Understands that he might be able to get a Fisher off, probably lose his life and hope to bounce back with a decent dunk. A battle for the 45 minute runes here. Looks like both topple belong to Vici. While TNC grabbed the other half of the map. We're seeing it. The Death Prophet even almost has a, a Sheevas in about 600 gold there. That's going to be great team fights in the middle. And the money on Morph is also huge. He's got nearly 8k in his bank account. But he doesn't. Look like he way. I mean, he would have got the butterfly already if he wanted it. He's maybe he's saving for buyback and butterfly, but I mean, Looks you see like his it. items. He's pretty much slotty. Yep, there we go. Buys it out at the top, and well, it's morphling. I mean, even if they lose that bottom racks now, what does that bottom racks even mean? Like, who cares if you lose a ranged racks? Like, you've shown you can defend. You probably have the better late game here with this morphling and DP, and just okay. you know, wait it out. All right, waiting for the next setup here. Fade under a shadow amulet. Oh, but they drop. A vision and a sentry right on one side. They look to go for the focus onto Armel. He forces him back with a hurricane pipe. Paparazzi is just swinging on in. Looking to go for Cuckoo. Cuckoo able to get off the Yules. Yang steps in, gets a nice two-man call, and they're going to get that finish on the oh Cuckoo. He does manage to drop the ward. Who have been dumped from Fade. This is Vici gaming time. They're defending as much as they can, and they're going to finish on Ninja Boogie 2. Oh, disaster potentially here for TNC. They may have caught in Gabby. DY sets it up with the Cyclone. They wait for him to fall. The call's a little too early. A giant bubble going to get dropped. He traps everyone from inside. Side and him, Ar uh, him and Armel begin to go to work. Clean out only one, though. They find Armel, too. And now it's Armel on the run. Tries to force himself into a different game, but it's not successful. Runs out the other side, and eventually they are going to swarm on in. Ninja Boogie, though, shows up. Tries to help out, and him and Gabby really can't offer a whole lot. It looks like they should be able to get the finish. Hey, well, they do get fade, I guess. Oh, my God. It's something, but this is proving to be m way too difficult for TNC. They cannot close this one out. Yep, and that was the paparazzi. By him go, like, he just BKB and win it. And the thing with him going in... The, the Void, like, his level 25 talent's almost a hindrance to him right now. He has the plus 175 Chronos here, AoE. If he won to Chrono this uh, Morphling, he would have to Chrono three of his teammates. So by Paparazzi just jumping in on their yeah. team, like, it makes Gabby useless. Like, Paparazzi understands that. He's like, wait, I can use your own talents against you? Cool. 
Here, yeah, we'll see a replay yeah. of the yeah, fight. When he just goes in right here, like, what does Gabby do? What are you going to do, Chrono? He's three just of your watching. Teammates? He's back up and he's anything. watching. He's just waiting. He's like, where can my Chrono go? Where can I commit it? And he doesn't. He can't do anything. He can't even right click. Dude, I actually think the, the AoE town on this void <laughs> might be a hindrance more than it is helpful this game. A yeah, very awkward approach for TNC, or rather just a fantastic defensive hold for Fiji Gaming to kind of assess that situation so well. And what was once a 22k net worth advantage and cut dramatically. That was like a 4 or 5k net worth swinging fight. I mean, yeah, they meant a couple of kills there, taking out like the Death Prophet and some support, but, you know, without taking out Paparazzi, without taking out some serious base damage, like, I don't think it's good enough for TNC right now. I feel like in Morphling is gonna go for that link and just definitely doesn't want to get caught out by cuckoo like that's the only way you die you get a hex before bkb that's the only way you're dying you hit the lincoln if he jumps in hexes you're gonna be able to pop bkb before he shackles or vice versa however they want to do it oh tried to jump in here couldn't make it across the trees unfortunately the plus three multi-shot adaptive strikes when you this farm with the butterfly and all that that shit will hurt multiple people that's what multi me you're welcome. All right. Well, Fichi feel comfortable enough to kind of step outside the front door a bit. First, they have they've been know. in this base for about 10 to 15 minutes now, and they finally, like, just getting the that's what you win the team fight. Getting these lanes pushed out, it allows you to actually finally farm. And there's the Sheba finally for the DP, and it, you finally get that. The minus attack speed's very good this game. You usually don't think about it, you're like, oh, it's the armor and all that, but this minus attack speed. I also like the utility here. I'm looking DY's inventory for the first time in a while. He's got that solar crescent and a value buckler on the side. He's not nearly as easy to get bursted down from the TA himself, and he can actually use that solar crest to have Faceless Void or TA in kind of a bit of trouble on trying to get the right click through. No, Kyle is frothing how happy he is for this casual buckler. I know him and Z Freak, the brothers, they like they were the like the original casual bucklers. Like this is the game winning item. Like doesn't it cost like 600 gold? It doesn't matter. That's all it cost. Most teams should learn about it sooner. Uh, you would think. But here we go. They're smoking up. Uh, Roche will respawn at five. Ooh. So Dire always knows because the traps. Yeah. But, okay. It's popping up right smoke, now. Smoke, move in. Tim's is just on the other side. Could pop the smoke and does, but... He got the cloak the AOE. The call gets the grab. Tim's is on the other side. It looks like the scouting pigeon maybe finished off. That's a pretty decent ward on the high ground, and the Chrono may lock him oh in his spot. Nicely done from Gabby, and that is going to secure the takedown of Paparazzi. Wonderful bait in setup. Gonna get everyone now. Yep. At least all them. And that's, guess what? Sometimes maybe sitting inside your base is a little bit better than going out. And <laughs> well, they bring down the panda as well. That is. There you go. See when when. He's by himself. That, that's like perfect timing, right? Morph is by himself on the egg. You just easy to chrono that. Great position for Tim's on that, that Phoenix to be able to spot that smoke movement. And because he was able to get the egg to the high ground, it just made it way too awkward. And uh, Gabby just at the right place at the right time. Buyback has to be forced out from DY, but as we know, still needs another minute before his primal spit's uh, even going to be up at the ready. I uh, that was. That was just a good bait in by Tim's right there, and it, it was a good call because he had the plus AOE. It looked like, hey, they're going to get this Phoenix, but they still didn't know where he was because he was so deep in the trees, they mm. couldn't even see where the attacks were coming from. All right, we got Aegis on TA. We got the Cheese for the Faceless Void. He's also going to hold the Refresher Shard, so for double big bubble action. Go in with that. I think you might. he might just go in and hope for the best. That AoE is so big inside the base. You might just... But you, you Shadow Blade Fade. Might try to go for a jump on the outside with the dunk. Move in, calls there. Jump in, Chrono. Catches a couple, but not everyone. Looks like he puts his fresh. focus right away for DY. Profit walks right into the bubble. Looks to go for the vision. Armel gets blasted down. And Gabby in trouble next. Gabby what? also gone. Oh, disaster for what? TNC. Here comes Trouble now, fighting. Copley on four, this is the yes. second life of Armel. He's gonna die before the Faceless Void can even return to the fight, but no, he tries to turn around and swing it out. Still in trouble though, the chase is on, and there he eventually gets finished. And buyback from him, they're trying to close this thing out. It would look like Gabby's getting back in on the action. He's got the cheese in the bubble still, dives on in, gets a big bubble grab, looks to go for it. Jump on the other side, big ducks there. But can they get the finish here? The Morph's going to be out for good two minutes. No buyback onto him. This might be it. PNC looking to close things out on this one. Trying to prevent Beachy Gaming from making it back inside to safely be able to defend. They get Yang down. 
That is as well a dive back, and it's looking good for TNT. And Ori should oh, be next here, yeah. TNC. It was a long, tough, uphill battle, but it is going to be successful. Pause or not, this one is over. GG's have been tossed. Respect has been given, and this one is done. It's TNC who are going to be able to move on to the next round. Good guy. Good for that. That's a top six. That is, you don't realize how big the jump in points from the one below there to just being top six. That, that is a huge win. Moving to the arena, and that was th this void. Like, such good chronos in the beginning, and then, like, a couple suspect ones.